hey you guys welcome back how is everybody doing i hope everybody's doing good today we're gonna be working with this beautiful colorful design so then let's begin with the acrylics we are going to be using for this design so then this one is from young nails and it's called cover earth and it is a beautiful earthy colored acrylic we're also going to be using number 111 by valentino this one is more of like a neon yellow but i don't know why it comes out more like a banana yellow here <laughs> if you know what i mean i don't know why you guys i guess it's just um it's just the lighting i guess but it i promise you it is a neon yellow whoever owns this color knows what i'm talking about it is not what it, it is not the yellow that it comes up in the camera so okay you guys right here i'm just using my uh lamore eden nail tips you can find these on ebay and um i'm also using my number 14 brush by nail supply glamour uh i already had you know my squeletto shape tips the middle finger didn't quite turn out how i wanted it to you guys i'm gonna be super super honest with you um for some reason it turned out more like a coffin <laughs> but these tips are a little harder to work with just because they they're more like um they're more thinner so they're more like flimsy if you know what i mean if you guys have used these nail tips before you guys know what i'm talking about they're more flimsy i don't know what it is um they're not like the usual tips that are a little more you know thicker and stiffer these are more flimsy i don't know but you know if you if you file you know you gotta watch out how much you guys are filing with these tips because from a squaletto you're gonna go into a coffin that's what happened to me in that middle finger so um i'm gonna i'm just gonna be applying this you know earthy color or cover earth from young nails all over the nails you guys um you're gonna see me what i'm gonna be doing uh except for the ring finger on the ring finger i'm gonna be doing the yellow from valentino and um I really wanted something nude and you know kind of neon yellow or a neon color and I didn't know what to pick if I wanted pink or neon green or neon you know orange I, I initially initially I wanted to do uh, the the neon orange but I was like no for some reason right now I'm really into pinks and yellows you guys I don't know if it's just you know the the springtime or I don't know what it is but I'm really into pinks and yellows if you have noticed I've been uploading tons of yellow designs and pinks I don't know you guys I really don't know I I guess I have like my I have my my times where I'm into certain color and then I go into the other color sometimes I'm into reds does that ever happen to you guys I really want to know I don't know I guess I'm just weird like that uh, so yeah moving on to the design <laughs> right here I'm just gonna be applying this yellow from Valentino like I said it is a neon yellow for some reason it comes out different on, on camera uh, than what it is in person but I promise you it's a neon uh, so yeah I start off from like the from my wherever you I guess the middle of the nail, that's where you um, glue your nail tip to your natural nail. That's where I begin. I've been doing this lately, you guys. Well, in some of the nails. I've been practicing this, you know, where you place your first bead uh, wherever you glue on your nail tip. And then I do the second bead a little bit above it. And then the third bead will go right on the cuticle area. And um, for some reason, I've been liking it. So if you guys practice this, let me know because really you guys like really this has been um really working out for me it has been giving me a really precise you know apex area which sometimes if i would begin let's say from the cuticle area down towards the tip uh sometimes it would be just like flat it wouldn't give me an apex you know what i mean in this way it does give me that little pancita that i'm looking for that little you know um apex that i need so yeah if you guys are struggling with that i would really highly suggest you guys uh start 
how I began with the ring finger. So now moving on, I'm just going to be capping all of the nails for that I'm using NSI uh, acrylic system, which is the crystal clear and the monomer. Um, I really do like this acrylic system aside from Glam and Glitz. I truly, truly stand by these two brands. Um, <clears throat> Before this, I would use Mia Secret uh, like a lot. I would always be purchasing Mia Secret. I love the coverage, you guys. Don't get me wrong. And I truly don't want to talk about bad. I truly don't want to talk bad about any brand. But for some reason, Mia Secret's um, monomer gives me headaches. It, like it is so strong you guys it is super strong and the room that i work in you know it's my kids room so it would be like everywhere the you know the smell would be there and it wouldn't go away so i moved on uh i stopped using it and then i purchased uh nsi and glam and glitz and i noticed the difference right away i promise you guys uh the room does not stink um it does not stay in the room it does not smell i mean it does smell obviously it does every monomer does but i promise you guys it my head doesn't hurt which is a good thing so that tells me a lot so i really do stand by this uh okay you guys i guess the video catched up to me so right here i'm just gonna be doing kind of like a like kind of like a v shape kind of like a v french uh so i'm just gonna be using a white painting gel and a really thin liner brush to kind of like outline uh the v of where i'm gonna be doing the v french so and then i try to to like color it in <laughs> if that makes sense uh i did kind of do this one really thick you guys so you're gonna be seeing um in a minute right now that it kind of like wrinkled up on me that's a huge mistake you you do when you're doing gel you guys i promise you that's why i hate working with gel but um i guess you just gotta take precautions because like i said this one turned out really thick and um it wrinkled up and right here on the pinky you're gonna see that it's you know i i worked i filled it in with a with another brush you're gonna see that in a minute and um it did that didn't happen like it was perfect even my thumb because i did the same thing on the thumb and it was perfect as well the only one that i did it different was the middle finger and it wrinkled up so i i, I highly suggest you guys work really thin really really thin uh so that your gel doesn't wrinkle up so look this is what i mean i kind of you know filled it in with this brush and um it really helped to for the for the gel not to be thick you know i guess it brought with the same brush like the brush brought the axis uh gel that was left behind and i really messed up on the middle finger but oh well i already know for the next time you guys so i'm telling you guys don't do that mistake uh so now uh i cured it in the lamp i went ahead and, i went ahead and cured it in the lamp for 60 seconds and when it came out uh i didn't do nothing to it at all and when it came out i started adding you know my pigments i'm not using real pigments trust me if it were to be real pigments the colors would have shown uh better you know it would have been more obviously more vibrant so if you want your like your your pigment to be more pigmented more vibrant try to use real pigments you guys i didn't have them i don't have them so i gotta work with what i have and what i have is a lot of acrylic so i used my neon acrylics that i had on hand so all i'm doing is just using an old brush i dunk it into the into the acrylic powder and then i go ahead and brush it onto the nail here and there and then i go into the second color and then here and there and so on and so forth and that is 
pretty much it what you do you guys this is pretty much it what you do so I'm just you know removing the axis with a brush and then after I'm done I'm gonna go ahead and matte top coat it I'm using my nail supply glamour matte top coat which is awesome I freaking love it and then I'm just gonna go ahead and coat all of them just going light hand with it you guys you don't necessarily have to do you know a super thick layer or you know like I like I've always told you work with small layers you guys because um when you go ahead and cure it in the lamp your nails will deform because the gel is gonna like be moving everywhere because obviously you applied so much of it that's gonna go on to the sides and when you place it in the lamp it's gonna cure that way and you don't want that because you want a super super neat and crisp nail so yes you guys after i'm done with this i'm just gonna go ahead and apply my bling honestly you guys i think i should have leave, left it like this i don't know why i applied bling i think it messed it up but you guys tell me um honestly if i were you i would just leave it as is i wouldn't apply bling but since you know these are just designs for you guys you guys um you guys choose what you want from the design make it your own if you want to leave it like this leave it like this if you want to make it shiny make it shiny if you want it stiletto make it stiletto if you want to add more stones to it add more stones to it if you want to make it orange pink purple make it your own own you guys i've always told you these these are just ideas for you guys to choose from you know it's just um i'm just here for inspiration because i love this um i'm not a professional by any means or anything and i'm not here to tell you what to do and um you guys choose what you guys like from the designs that i make for you guys so yeah i'm just applying um some random colors you know like neon pink neon yellow neon green and um, i'm using my zulai adhesive uh this adhesive like always you guys i truly stand by these this adhesive it's awesome it's freaking awesome my clients come back with their stones on like that should tell you a lot so <clears throat> on the ring finger Initially, initially I was gonna add some blue stones because obviously um, I did use blue pigment but I was like uh uh it does not look good so I removed it and then I just decided to stick with the with the crystal so um, I'm just applying it here on this nail I didn't really know what to do with the crystals you guys I was all over the place here I was like what should I do should I add this here and then I was like, oh, well, I'm just going to add the crystals here because, you know, the ring finger does have some of the crystals. And now that I look back, I think I should have added the same, you know, colors that I added on the index finger. The pink, the yellow, and the green. But, you know, right there at that moment, I wasn't thinking, you guys. I don't know what's up with me. So, yeah, you guys, we are, you know, at the end of the video, we've completed this design and i really really hope you guys enjoy it um please you guys be the judges tell me what you guys think um give me some ideas what colors you want to see you know what designs uh tell me because sometimes i don't even know what what designs you guys want to see so tell me tell me what you guys want and i'm here you guys i'm here and i listen i promise you um <clears throat> so yeah you guys i'll let you go for today uh, please take care you guys if you don't need to go out don't go out stay in your homes uh, make some caldito de res some caldito de pollo um <laughs> who i'm hungry now yes and um please you guys take care stay safe take care of your families and god bless us all so yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one and um if you're new don't forget to subscribe and well yeah like comment and subscribe see you guys on the next one take care stay safe god bless bye bye